Hi everyone, this is Radhika here again. Um, so this video is going to be about how to heal from excess feminine energy after being uh, through narcissistic abuse. Um, so let me just give some introduction to this concept. So I have mentioned this in another video, which is uh, how covert narcissistic women love, uh, the love process that they have. And um, I, I touch upon it over there. So basically what happens is sometimes when you are with um, not just a woman, but a narcissistic person, male or female or any gender, uh, what happens is it can greatly affect your uh, masculine energy. And you might uh, give up on your masculine energy and you might take on a lot of feminine energy. So let me just explain what this is. So basically in our body, the right side of our body, which is controlled by the left side of our brain, is uh, the masculine side. So the mascul uh, left side of the brain is logical, analytical, um, you know, all these properties are for the left side of the brain. And the right side of the brain is imaginative, um, you know, uh, creative, uh, seeing the big picture, holistic, etc. And this part contain this uh, part of the brain. It controls the left side of the body. So energy wise, um, we will say that the right part of the body is the masculine energy, and the left part of the body represents the feminine energy. So. Um, let me just explain this a little bit further. So masculine energy is the energy of getting things done, you know, like having a task, breaking down that task and doing the things in order to achieve uh, uh, an end result, you know. And um, this basically all of the uh, this process of doing things and getting a result is what builds the ego. And it starts from a young age. So as soon as a child starts to grab onto things or put, uh, take something and put it in his mouth, he is starting to use his masculine energy. So he's starting to do actions that have a result and then they keep on repeating the actions. And slowly he will start to walk and run, etc, etc. So that builds his ego. It builds his confidence that now I can get things done. And that basically continues all throughout our life. So later on we study, we get good grades or uh, in our office, you know, we aim to reach a certain position and then we work towards it, etc. Or even in the even on the home front, like a, a housewife might decide that, OK, today I'm going to cook this particular thing. So she will actually do the action of cooking. So masculine energy is not just in males and feminine energy is not just in females it's in all bodies and whatever the gender of the person is um so yeah that's masculine energy and feminine energy is basically the energy of imagining things creativity of um basically getting the getting the whole picture of a situation not just attaching yourself with um and attaching the ego with it but actually stepping back and getting a view of the whole situation basically it's an energy of receiving so you step back you relax and you observe and you let things come to you instead of going out there and getting things done so they are kind of opposites but they need to work in balance because without imagining something uh, you do an action it's not going to have probably not going to have a very good consequence so you first imagine what you want to do and then you go and do, you do it so masculine and feminine if they are acting together if they are in balance then um, whoever is this person who has their masculine and feminine in balance they are going to achieve great potential like they have great potential everyone has great potential but they are uh, they are going to be able to achieve a lot with that great potential because they are acting in balance with both these energies so so yeah we all need these energies th to move through life no matter what our gender is and um, now where this comes in play with the narcissist is that a narcissist is a person whose energies are completely out of whack you know like all the chakras are not 
the energy flow through the chakras is not uh, happening properly their masculine and feminine are many times imbalanced sometimes they go extremely into the masculine sometimes extremely into the feminine so basically they just lack balance um and what happens is when you have stayed with a narcissist for a long time because you have stayed near such energy what happens is your energy also starts getting affected by this and um, so your energies also go out of whack because of their actions because their actions aren't balanced and when you react to it you might react um, out of your male energy too much or uh, sometimes out of your female energy too much and because of their repetitive actions you might get a lot into your female energy and that is mostly because the narcissists are overtly or covertly the male energy is dominating the ego is dominating them so that's why um, uh, that's why sometimes we have excess female energy when we have stayed near a narcissist because with time you kind of start letting go and in the beginning you fight them with your masculine energy but later on you realize that you're not going to win in this fight so you kind of go into your feminine and you remain in your feminine and because they want to put down your ego you know completely so you might go excessively into the feminine and this might actually result in an underdeveloped ego which is an underdeveloped masculine side so so yeah so some of the some of the practical things that might happen like in real life is that maybe the narcissist is constantly criticizing the things that you do or the results that you get from your actions and they might uh, demand perfection from you so what happens is um, you give up doing uh, things to the best of your ability you just do them for the sake of it uh, you lose your confidence, uh, you might start procrastinating, so you don't want to do things, you put them off till later, that I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Um, or basically you might stop doing even simple things because you feel like I might fail at them even before you've given it a try. Um, so yeah, these things are consequences if uh, you are excessively in your female, which is a lot of thoughts, you have a lot of thoughts, you have a lot of fantasies, maybe revenge fantasies, maybe you go back in your memories, replaying the things. So you are living a lot in your head, which is the upper chakras. So the three upper chakras are supposed to be feminine and the three lower chakras are supposed to be masculine. And actually this chakra is supposed to be like divine, but this one throat and heart is supposed to be feminine. So if you are a lot in your brain, you are just imagining things, etc. You are a lot in your feminine power. And when it comes uh, when it comes to do things, you might not be as capable of doing things because you've made up a lot of images and ideas and things like that in your head. And when it comes to do things, those images and ideas are actually blocking you from getting things done because excessive female. Um, so so yeah so basically um, the first thing that you can do to start healing this is to acknowledge it that this is what is happening to me i i might have been a balanced person once upon a time or if you grew up in a narcissistic family you have the potential to be a balanced person but because of the circumstances it did not happen but you must have seen balanced people in your environment somewhere you know out of the narcissistic clan so you can imagine that is how a balanced person is and uh, you can be that too because uh, you you haven't you just haven't had an opportunity to be that but you can easily be that um so yeah the first thing is you acknowledge what has happened and it is not you who is not confident or it is you it is not you who cannot get things done it was just the environment that you were in which was kind of hindering you from achieving your fullest potential so that's the first thing you need to really acknowledge that that it's it's all in the mind it was all like a mental block that you have had because of the circumstances and you can overcome it um then the second thing to know is that it will take some time because this is conditioning this is programming of the brain of the body of the uh, of the immune system of the um um, basically every every cell in your body has been programmed a certain way 
so it will take time to change it but it doesn't mean that it cannot be changed because you can always change and uh, you just have to have that intention that yes i will become a balanced person now and slowly you have to work towards it and this whole process itself will uh, be good in testing both your feminine and your masculine side because you will have to uh, first think about how you want to go about this process and then you will actually have to do the action of you know going about it so again you will have to use your feminine and your masculine while going through this so that's the second thing and uh, while while you are in this process you will have to be patient and kind with yourself because um, uh, just being hard on yourself will make it that much more difficult it won't solve any problems um, then the third thing is actually the practical steps that all of you can start taking from today itself if you want to. So uh, because male energy is about doing things and achieving and that's basically what builds your ego and we, we aim to bring our ego to a healthy, uh, to a healthy level. It should not be underbalanced and it sh should not be um, it should not be underdeveloped and it should not be overdeveloped and we just want to be in that middle nice zone of you know uh, knowing what is right what is wrong when you when you have to let go when you need to stand your ground etc so so basically what we want to do is we are building up our ego by taking small steps one at a time so these small steps can be any actionable items and um, the win is that you have to deliver on them and if you cannot then don't be hard on yourself just try again and what i would say is start with really simple steps very small steps so they could be as simple as decide that every night i'm going to sleep at 9 pm or i mean not sleep sleep but i'll be on bed at 9 pm or i'll be on bed at 10 pm whatever your time is and then you can decide that uh, every morning I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. And uh, you can decide every day I'm going to have 10 glasses of water. If you are a big cola drinker or a coffee drinker um, and it, it has been harming your body, you can decide to cut down on your in intake. You can decide that I will have only one cup of coffee a day. And you do that and then you decide now I'm going to have no cups of coffee in the day. Then you do that. So basically small wins like this are going to be very helpful for you to build your confidence. It doesn't have to be a big thing in which you, um, you know, present something in your office to like a team of 60 people. But these small steps, you, you keep on growing on them. So... Um, you build your confidence with these small things and then you take up a task which is a little bit difficult. So maybe you have you have fear of public speaking or because of this narcissistic situation, you have kind of lost confidence in yourself. So you decide that, okay, I'm going to present something in my office or you decide that I'm going to host, um, you know, a party or a get together in my house and I'm going to call some people, I'm going to cook a great meal whatever makes you happy or you decide that I'm going to plant a tree and I'm going to make sure that it grows to be a beautiful big healthy tree you know so uh, something like that which takes a little bit more commitment or uh, which takes you a little bit more out of your comfort zone you can start doing that and you don't have to go all the way all whenever you're doing this keep in mind how you are feeling and it is okay if you feel scared in the beginning but don't let the fear freeze you and if the fear is freezing you then maybe you are not ready for it yet then take some more smaller steps before you take on the big challenge that is freezing you um so yeah and maybe once you start doing this your male energy will start getting more in line with your female energy and then once you are in that space maybe you can also challenge yourself to actually face the narcissist without getting affected by any of their negative and out of whack energy 
so you face them but you stand your ground you stay in the balance you stay your energies stay balanced even if they are with you even if they are playing all their stupid games whatever they are doing they're trying to piss you off or they're trying to you know blame you for something etc etc this can be like the ultimate test that this is the person who kind of put your energies out of whack and now you have you know rebuilt your energies and kind of integrated all the parts of yourself that you had lost and now you are this complete whole person who doesn't give a shit you know they can do whatever they want to do and you are not affected by it because you are completely balanced and you know what you need to do if you go out of balance and you are completely aware now so basically you have become an empowered individual who's not afraid of anything anymore so yeah that was this video um which was how to heal from excess female energy after narcissistic abuse and if you guys have any comments suggestions questions um or how you have healed your feminine or masculine energy you can write them below and as always please do share subscribe and like these videos and i wish you a lot of love and a lot of light thanks bye